For the safety officer, it goes without saying they ought to establish an initial site safety plan. Ensure that we have a safety data sheet. Now, um, an SDS, it used to be called an MSDS, so if you call it an MSDS, material safety data sheet, that's okay. Today it's referred to as the safety data sheet. So if you see one that's labeled MSDS, it's ancient, and you probably need something that's a little more current, an SDS. Ensure that we do continual gas monitoring. Now who's gonna be doing that continual gas monitoring initially? The oil spill response organization that shows up on scene is gonna be doing continual gas monitoring, looking for LEL, looking for H2S, an explosive atmosphere, or uh, something that contains a chemical like H2S that can be immediately dangerous to life and health at, at certain levels. And then once to coordinate with the coordinate with logistics on the development of a medical plan. Now, those things don't happen this quick, but they need to get worked upon uh, because you want to become as proactive as possible as opposed to being reactive. So I could go back to the planning P, which was the initial slide, um, but it, but we'll, we'll we'll cover that a little bit more. So the safety officers got at least four tasks that they ought to be doing and they're gonna get interrupted and asked to do other things. 